friends, welcome back to my channel. So today I would love to talk to you about one of my favorite pieces of artwork to collect, and that would be the mola. So if you're not familiar with a mola, it is actually a textile that is part of a traditional garment worn by the Guna people of Panama and Colombia. And so these wonderful works of art are panels that are made to be part of a dress or a shirt. And they're made using multiple layers of this colorful fabric. So you can see it is quite colorful and the pattern is very intense. And what is so cool is each of these colors are individual layers. So the layers are cut and sewn together and then the ends are turned under. So the edge of the fabric is turned under and stitched using a thread that matches the color of the cotton. And you almost can't even tell that this is a multiple layer piece. So when you look at it, it almost looks embroidered, but it's not, it's actually a reverse applique. So what is really neat about these is the fact that any given mola, depending on the complexity, can take upwards of six months to create. So each of these little stitches are all done by hand using a very, very fine needle. And someone could sit and work on one of these for longer than I can even fathom, just stitching together a single piece. So I began um, my fascination with molas because when I bought the Koenig house, there was a piece hanging in the living room and I just immediately was drawn to it. So I was able to purchase it with the home and I'm going to show you that piece right here. So this mola, I didn't know what it was at the time, but it was framed with a mat and then it had just a simple piece of acrylic over the, over the top. And over the years, once I took the mat off, over the years, you could see that the sun had actually faded the fabric. So the top layer previously was more of this bright red and is now kind of faded down to more of a peachy color. So I decided to kind of honor the fact that it's been worn down by time. I think it's kind of a beautiful thing. So I've been displaying it on top of the mat rather than behind it. So you can really see that edge and it tells, it just tells that story. So um, this was a piece that Harry and Debbie obviously had for a long time. And I would love to know the story behind it, like where they acquired it. Um, I don't know that, but in my mind, I'm going to imagine it was on some wonderful romantic getaway to South America. Um, but who knows? <laughs> So this piece is being honored by hanging in my master bath. And I think it's super cool that the multiple colors allow you to kind of pull out different tones and to use them as accent colors. So although the wood in the master bathroom is kind of a cherry color, this these warm tones work really, really well with that. And I was able to pull out this yellow kind of ochre and more of this orange and use that color as accent towels. So that's one of the neat things when you're decorating with molas is there's so many colors in them. It really gives you a lot of options and they go with a lot of different types of decor. So I'm going to show you another one that was a random Facebook marketplace purchase. And this is a piece that I have hanging in my laundry room. Now, is this pink fabulous or what? I mean, it is neon pink and orange. And of course, with a little bit of neon green. Now, how could you not love that? I feel like it's almost electric. It looks like something that you would have in your room as a teenager with like a black light or something. But this piece, again, very colorful, lots of different layers. You can see that um, I chose to, again, expose the edge because I like the fact that you can see the, the process of how it's made and having evidence of that is very interesting to me. What's really cool about all these different colors as well is you can kind of add um, interest in a room. For example, 
um, using compliments. So although this is bright hot pink and you may not choose to decorate in hot pink, if you have a complimenting color like green, like I happen to in this wonderful green carpeting, you can see how those colors really go well together. Um, same goes for this mola right here that I've yet to display. If you have a room that's maybe more blue, um, blue and orange are wonderful complements of each other being on the opposite ends uh, of the color wheel. I haven't yet to display this one, although I will probably put it into a frame. You also have the option of displaying it just in its raw form as kind of a textile, but I just think they look a lot more formal and I kind of like to protect them a bit from the sun by putting them behind some UV glass. Molas are definitely one of those things that were um, kind of popular to collect in the mid-century time period. So you may come across a few in a vintage shop or an antique store. Um, if you're really wanting to purchase one and you can't find any organically, you can look online. There's quite a few sites that sell them. Um, one of the ways to really tell a good quality, authentic mola from one that was maybe more mass produced is to look on the edges for this stitching. So if you see right here, I'm getting it into focus along the edge, there's kind of this horizontal stitching. Well, that is actually indicative of the fact that this mola at one time was part of a garment. So it was sewn together as a panel in a garment. It was actually used, which I think is even cooler. So to have something that is functional but beautiful, there's just an appreciation that I have for that, especially when you consider that one of these can take up to six months to make. So that's really super incredible, the amount of work that goes into this. So I'm deciding to honor that as a beautiful piece of art. And although I am not going to wear it, um, I'm going to put it up on my wall and admire it. So um, if you want to know more about Mola's, you can definitely Google it, M-O-L-A, Mola. Um, there's a lot of other things that are called Mola. So if you put in textile Mola, I'm sure you'll get some results and get to read a little more in depth about how the process works of how they actually create these. And of course, if you see any cool MOLA listings, I would love to buy more. So go ahead and tag me or maybe you want to buy them for yourself. So that's fine too. All right. So if you have any questions, I would love to answer them. And hopefully I've sparked your curiosity or your interest in this wonderful traditional art form. Um, so we'll see you again next time.